What is going on YouTube? Joe here with Color Nation Media and welcome back to part number two of our live Pokemon Showdown Little Cup session. As uh, last time we had like, I don't know how many matches, five maybe? And they were all forfeits. That is not how we wanted to start off the session, but we got uh, a little bit farther up on the ladder, so maybe we'll get some uh, better opponents, or not, not better opponents, because I'm not positive that they were bad, it's just they forfeited, so maybe we'll get some more people that are willing to uh, have an extended match, or a full match, or whatever it may be. So, uh, before we get started today, if you guys haven't done so already, make sure that uh, if you would like to, and uh, you want to show some uh, support to the channel, the series, and all that good stuff, remember, it only takes a couple seconds to click that thumbs up button right below this video. It does help out when you guys do that, and you guys have been really... Uh, really amazing on the likes lately and, and the comments, leaving your suggestions, uh, leaving constructive criticism, and uh, just uh, leaving like little compliments and stuff that really boosts my confidence. It really does help out a lot when you guys do that. Um, so yeah, keep being awesome basically is what I'm trying to say. Uh, I do appreciate you. So we have uh, Cottony, Skrelp, Gumi, that's interesting, Litwick, Snowrunt, and Roggenrola. Always like to say that name. Uh, he's going to start off with a rock and roll, maybe to get up rocks, I'm not really sure. And do I want to get up rocks on my own for the Litwick and the Snow Run? I'm going to say yes. So we're going to go ahead and set up rocks, and he's going to set up rocks, and it's going to be a whole big thing. Um, now, I don't know if he wants to try to go into Litwick to predict uh, me to Rapid Spin, but I'm going to EQ here. Nope, he stays in. Wow, okay, and goes for the Sandstorm. That is interesting. That could be very scary if I had uh, one of the Sand abilities, but he saw that I had Mold Breaker at the beginning. Uh, so there we go. And the Rapid Spin Kill, because who doesn't like a Rapid Spin Kill? That's always a lot of fun. Uh, and we get rid of the rocks. That's just beautiful. Shia, sorry you are too good. Out comes the Skrelp. I'm not understanding why you'd bring that out, because I'm just going to EQ you, and you're dead. <laughs> okay. Even uh, possibly through the Eevee light there, Shy is just too powerful. Are we going to see a forfeit? I, I feel like that might be coming soon, just because of uh, prior experience here. Now we have Cottony come out. This thing has Prankster. It likes the Stun Spore and Taunt and things like that. Actually, I haven't seen Taunt. It should be running Taunt, uh, especially for things like Torchic, which are just, just a nonsense set, basically. Um, anyway, let's see here. Uh, I don't think I want to leave Shy out for this. I think I want to send out good old Burton in case he wants to uh, stun spore me. He goes with the Encore to lock me in the EQ, which I'm not um, positive why you'd want to do that. Uh, let's see here. He doesn't really have much of a switch in, so I'm just going to go for the Poison Jab for the kill here. It'll be four times super effective because he's Grass and Fairy. He does go for the Stun Spores. He's going to activate the Guts, so that is uh, definitely overkill if I've ever seen it. Uh, he's kind of in trouble now, as the Goomy's going to come out. This should get one-shotted by a Drain Punch, I would guess. I'm not sure what Goomy's going to do, to be honest. I haven't seen one of these yet. Uh, he goes with a Dragon Pulse that does a nice 42%, and we're paralyzed, and we can't move. Fantastic. Uh, and the Sandstorm, uh, I think we can survive another hit, unless we get really screwed on the Min Max, which I guess is possible. Stupid paralysis. Oh, we survive with 1% and we get the drain punch off to finish off the Goomy back up to 46%. We go uh, with the sandstorm though. That brings us down to 42. So I guess that's kind of stinky. Out comes the Litwick. Uh, takes a butt ton due to the rocks. Uh, knock off would definitely kill this thing in one shot, but I don't think we're going to get that opportunity. I would love to actually save Burton for mock punching uh, the snow runt. But it, a snow rat can't really do much to Pawniard, so I feel kind of okay sacking this thing at this point. Um, yeah, I'm going to go for a knockoff, dude. Wow, we outsped? What? We knocked off the flame plate? What in the world just happened? No, no. Uh, he had to be using some kind of negative priority move. What does... Litwick get that could be negative priority or was he just did he not have any speed IVs? I'm so confused Okay, I, I'm not gonna question it uh, We'll mock punch this and that should be the end of that. Yep, down goes the snow run. Uh, we have time for another battle because we actually finished a battle Finally, uh, let's give him a GG. He didn't give us a good luck have fun, but whatever we have time for another one because uh, That was a very short match. Lara Vesta is a threat uh, this is a, a much more threatening team than we've been seeing. 
I definitely want to get up rocks with this guy. He doesn't appear to have anything to get rid of the rocks. So, we're going to start off with Shy again. Shy, apparently, uh, this Drillbur is, I guess, our dedicated lead. I think I've led with it every single time. Or, like, 90% of the time. Auron's going to lead things off here. And... What are you going to do? Are you going to set up rocks? Hmm. I'm going to set up rocks myself, so I don't really care. Uh, yeah, he does just set up the rocks. And I'm going to EQ now. Not going to rapid spin right away because he might... I don't know. He might just switch out. I, it depends on the trainer, I guess, or uh, the opponent. Some people just sacrifice their stealth rock user every single match they just lead off with it and then sacrifice it kind of like what he just did and he didn't even have sturdy apparently i'm so confused uh, other people will try to predict a rapid spin and switch out to the uh, you know according threat or uh, corresponding threat is probably the better wording there now this thing can be scary with the deep sea tooth so uh, what do i want to go into on this I should actually outspeed it, so we could get a rapid spin off right now if I wanted to. Uh, is it necessary to do right this second? I don't think it is, so I'm going to go into Kimba, and we'll come back into Driller, hopefully later, to uh, get that rapid spin off. Oh, the Shell Smash is real, ladies and gents. I should have went for the EQ. Oh, my goodness. That is freaking scary. That is freaking scary. Um, I will go for a Moon Blast here as uh, the Surf actually just one-shots us. Oh my goodness, that is scary as anything. That is craziness. Okay, uh, well now we're in a little bit of a pickle. Uh, I'm going to say... Yeah, our Sturdy is broken on this, so that's not good. We're going to go into Bread here, and we will Sucker Punch this guy right in the face. Or I guess Girl, it's a Girl Clam Pearl. Let's go for the Sucker Punch. Uh, will that kill? It does! 90%! I mean, it's not packing the Eevee Light, obviously. It had the Deep Sea Tooth, I'm guessing. Brad coming through for us there. And comes the Larvesta. Takes a nice 50% due to the rocks. Now, this thing could just outspeed and destroy our team. Hmm. You're probably going to go for a Fire-type attack. So I kind of feel okay going into Slow Ski here. Yeah, even though our sturdy will be broken, I think that's what I want to do. Slowski finally seeing some uh, screen time as the Incinerate comes through. Special Larvesta? That is interesting. These are almost always just, like, fully physical. Um, I might be able to get off a nice little Shell Smash here. Then he would have to bring in the Apom. Uh, although, Waterfall would kill everything except for Fungus. No, let's go for a Shell Smash. Let's see here. As he goes with a Giga Drain. Oh, okay. Well, fair enough. I was not expecting that for whatever reason. I probably should have been expecting that, but I wasn't. Uh, at least we know he's not Scarfed, so we can go into Shia, I suppose. Let's see. What else can he possibly have? Incinerate, Giga Drain. Does he get Bug Buzz? kind of scared of like a, a, a crazy hidden power that would destroy Torchic, so we're not going to mess around with that. We're going to go back into Shy here, and we will go for a Rock Slide for the kill, and then hopefully we can Rapid Spin on whatever wants to come in. It, it depends, although I think the Apom might just be able to come in and kill everything. Uh, rock Slide it is. Yep, we outspeed, down goes the Larvesta in one shot. That is four times super effective because Drillbur's just amazing. Drillbur's getting all the kills. It's ridiculous. Uh, I'm going to guess the Apom is going to come out now. Uh, no, the Fungus actually does. Alrighty. Uh, is it worth rapid spinning? That is the question here. Um, poor little Torchic is going to take 25% due to the rocks, but I don't see that as a really big deal at this point. So I kind of want to just EQ. Kind of. Kind of, kind of, kind of. Uh, a Spore could be coming... This could be very useful to take out the Houndour, 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 however you want to say it. No, I'm going to EQ, get as much damage as I can. 65%, ouch. That did not feel good, that is for sure. That is for sure. All right, let's go into Burton now, because I don't think you can do a whole lot to me. Even if you want a Giga Drain. Yeah, that doesn't do much. Uh, wow, we got 21% back from that. That is not okay. I'm going to go for a knockoff here as he goes for the protect. Just to scout what I was going to do, I suppose. I'm going to go for the knockoff again. 
Because if you want to go into Hound Hour, I can just uh, kill you with a freaking, whatchamacallit, uh, mock punch. As he goes for the Sludge Bomb. We knocked off the big root. I was expecting Eviolite. Um, but that's fine. I mean, we outspeed this thing. So we can go for a Drain Punch here. I don't think he's going to switch anything in because he's going to want to bring in the Apom. But I'm going to go for the Drain Punch anyway. It should kill this thing from, you know, 5%. He should only have 1 HP remaining. He does switch out into the A-bomb. That was not a good switch. That is dead. What? What? He survived a Drain Punch? Are you kidding me? That has to be Eviolite. I'm gonna... Really? How is that even possible? A-bomb is like frail as can be. You have to have some kind of like defense investment maybe or just Eviolite or maybe I'm just overestimating the power of Burton here when he doesn't have guts activate. That's crazy. Um, go for a mock punch. Uh, there's the fake out, 17%. And uh, he doesn't have technician, so that's nice. He most likely has skill link, but I'm gonna mock punch you anyway. Uh, that was just not good. You basically sacrificed A-bomb. Uh, your priority user is gone. Um, I guess you wanted to switch out the Fungus just to get the Regenerator off. I don't know that it was worth it, though. Because you let me get all that HP back, and that, now the Hound Hour is going to come out. Um, you have Unnerve. Alright, that's good to know. But I'm pretty sure a Mach Punch here is just going to ruin your day. I don't know if it'll kill. I'm not confident after seeing how much uh, Mach Punch did to, or not Mach Punch, Drain Punch did to that Apom. I'm going to go for it anyway, though. Uh, actually, that is a dead Hound Hour. All right. So, uh, Burn put in some work here. KO after KO. And all he has left is the Fungus, which is at 27% after the Regenerator and the Rocks and all that jazz. We can go for a nice Poison Jab here. He gives us a GG. And that's two matches this episode that we were able to complete. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, so that's going to be it for this time. Uh, I know this was considerably shorter than the first episode, but at least we had some full matches going on. Hopefully that continues throughout the session. So we still got three episodes left to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you're leaving a uh, comment or a like or whatever you guys want to do. And I will see you all next time. But until then, game on.